Hello, this is Dylan D. Firelam again, and welcome back to my laboratory. Today, I'm going to be talking about this vintage PowerStat variable auto transformer. It's a made by the Superior Electric Company, and it's also known as a Variac. And it's basically a variable AC power supply. Now, I'm going to get my flashlight here, and I'm going to see if my camera can focus on the little tag here. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's kind of too bright to see. Maybe if I shine it kind of over here, you might be able to see that tag. My And also, another thing to note real quick, my camera is set to manual focus. Because previously I had trouble with the autofocus, so I'm going to go ahead and try to manually focus this in right now. So, just bear with me for a moment here. Let me go ahead and uh, adjust the focus level. Okay, I think that should be a little bit better. Yeah, you can see that now. Power stat, variable auto transformer. 0 to 140 volts, 10 amps, 50 and 60 hertz AC. As you can see on the dial, it goes from 0 to 140. Go ahead and focus that. All the way from 0 to 140. And the output is on this little receptacle right here. Okay, so that was just the basic overview of the Variac. And, uh, this Variac is pretty old. I'm not exactly sure how old it is, but it's pretty old, and it's, uh, really heavy, too. But, I mean, this thing's built like a tank, and it works, uh, very reliably and very well. So, to give a demonstration here of the, uh, uh, of what it can do, I'm going to go ahead and grab a light, just a test light here, just a little light fixture, so let me go ahead and dig that out, here it is, here's the light fixture we're going to go to be using to test this variable auto transformer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the variable auto transformer into the power, so it's plugged in, let me just make sure this is focused here, Okay, so it's plugged in back here on the power bar, which is plugged into the wall. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the power cord from the light, and we're going to plug it in to the Variac. Just like that. So now it's connected to the Variac. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn the Variac on here. And now that the Variac's on, we'll start raising the supply voltage. As you can see, we can start the bulb off dim at about 25 volts or so. And we can bring it all the way up to about 80, 90. You can go down, you can go all the way up to 120. And this is full voltage, and it's just completely blinding the camera out there. There you can see it. Completely blinding the camera. We can even crank it over that to 140. Now we're kind of overvolting the bulb. And I'll bring the voltage back down. And we'll turn it off. So that was just a really quick look at the at how this device operates. And now just to further demonstrate how the device operates, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my triplet model 630 uh, voltmeter back here to give you a demonstration of the voltage. So let me go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way and uh, so we can get a good look at the uh, voltmeter back here. It's kind of hard to see because I got some stuff in the way. Let me just move this. Okay, you should be able to see the voltmeter. Let me see if we're focused here. Alright. Let's get a better look at that voltmeter. Just make sure you can see that. Okay. Okay, so now you can look at the meter. We're going to go ahead and uh, let me just back my camera off for a second because what I have to do is I have to grab some leads, just some uh, standard clip leads and some banana jacks that are in this box here. So let me just get those. I forgot to get those out because I usually have them plugged into my meter. Just get a 
couple alligator clips here. Don't need anything fancy, just a couple alligator clips and some banana jacks. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and connect up some alligator leads to the banana jack so that we can hook up this meter. So this one's going to go to common. And this one's going to go to volts. And we're going to put it on the AC 300 volt scale. So the AC 300 volt scale right there. And as you can see, I just have some... I can move his money out of the way. I just had some standard clip leads connected to it, and that's what we're going to connect the very yak up to. So, so what I'm going to do to make the connection is I'm going to take the alligator leads, and I'm actually going to take my multimeter leads, which again, apparently I forgot to get out, and I'll show you how I'm actually going to connect this to the triplet model 630. So as you can see here, these are just your standard, you know, test probes that you'd use with a digital multimeter, such like this. And the reason I'm going to be using these is because the ends of the probes I can easily attach my alligator leads to, as you can see right there. So I can go ahead and I can take the leads and I can shove them into the electrical socket like that and I can make a connection. So we're going to do that with both of them. We're just going to plug them into the socket and then we're going to take the ends of the leads and that's where we'll be connecting that's where we're going to be connecting the uh, meter to. So the green lead will go on the common, because this is an analog meter, so polarity is important. Alright, as you can see, we have our meter connected, kind of crudely there, to the variac. So we're going to focus on the uh, meter scale. Hopefully you can see it. I know it's kind of hard. Let's make sure we're focused here. Alright, I don't know how easy it is to see the uh, numbers or not. Maybe if I shine a flashlight on it, see if that helps. Or if that just drowns it out. Yeah, that just drowns it out, so hopefully you can see. That's all I'm saying. So we'll turn it on, and we'll start raising the voltage. Let's put it on 40 volts AC. On the 300 volt scale, now the 60 volt scale, we have about 40 volts AC right now. So now we'll keep bringing her up. Bring her up to 100. There's 100 volts. 120, 130, 140. And there she is all maxed out at 140 volts AC. Now we'll start bringing it down. We'll bring it down past 60 so we can put the 60 volt scale back on. And then we can bring her even lower and back to zero. So that's just a quick little analog demonstration of the voltage that this thing puts out. It's just your standard run-of-the-mill variable AC power supply. So, also known as a variac. And this could be very useful if you are going to be powering or testing devices like old radios and stuff that you want to kind of solely power up first before you use it. And one of these would be very useful for that. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day, everybody.